Well, many people have experienced weight gain over the pandemic, and as we begin those summer celebrations, you may be tempted to fully indulge at the barbecues. Here with us today to explore some healthy food options at those barbecues is Dr. Jerry Williams. She's the supervising doctor with Ideal U Health Center. Good morning, Dr. Williams. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Good morning. So what are some of the best ways to stay on track with those weight loss goals if you're at a social gathering, say a picnic or a barbecue this summer? Yeah, so there's always that that uh, tendency to want to eat um, a lot of the traditional picnic foods, but there's a lot of different uh, foods that are available. And to prepare yourself to not gain any weight after some of these events, the best things I can suggest are to, of course, um, eat something before you leave. Uh, that way you're not going to an event hungry. Um, also, bring your own water so you can stay hydrated, particularly on days like today when it's hot and muggy. Uh, position yourself away from the food. Uh, don't make it a temptation at all. And instead of thinking about food, engage in conversation and some of the activities that might be around. But I think the most important thing besides going to these events not hungry is to be calm. Nobody knows that you're on a diet. They're not looking at what you're eating. So just go and have a good time and don't think about that. I like that advice. Take a breath, be calm. No one's on to you. I, I know when we go to barbecues, everyone's thinking about the hot dog, the brat, the hamburger, but I know there are some healthy things you can put on a grill as well. Do you have any suggestions for healthy barbecue alternatives that you can have that might not show up on your waistline? For sure, some of the more traditional ones like hamburgers could be a good option. We just have to avoid some of the things that go on top of that, like the bun or um, some of the sweeter um, condiments that you'd put on that. Lean cuts of uh, steak or bison, chicken breast are good options. Um, shish kebab is a really nice way to combine a good portion size of a healthy protein with some vegetables. And you can even use tofu in place of uh, the meat protein if you want to in those shish kebabs. If you're a vegetarian, don't forget seafood, uh, salmon or some of those uh, firmer cuts of or firmer fish actually would be a good option too. And shrimp is, is really a tasty option grilled. And I see bean burgers on the screen there as well. I know there's so many meat alternatives like the impossible mm -hmm. or beyond beef and I've had some of those. Those are pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say as well. What about the sauces and the chips and the beans, the side salads, those side items? Do you have any suggestions for ways to eliminate the temptation to load your plate up with sides that might not be healthy? One point about the barbecue sauce. Um, there are so many options now. So many people have asked uh, manufacturers for keto friendly and, and, and scale friendly, you can find commercially made barbecue sauces that do not contain all of that sugar. They're usually stevia sweetened. So that is taken care of there. The sides, um, super easy. Roast some vegetables. You can do that right on the grill. Brussels sprouts are great. Um, spring onions, even um, sweet potatoes you could do on the grill as well. Uh, a fresh side salad already tossed with an olive oil based um, vinegar and vinegar would be a good option. And then um, raw vegetables with a, with a homemade ranch dip that doesn't have all of the, the junk in it. Healthy alternatives, and they sound pretty delicious as well. Dr. Jerry Williams with Ideal You. Thank you so much for being with here, being with us here. Thank you so much for having me.